Hello everyone! In today's tutorial we're going to explain how to create this type of dual view tours between two 3D models, in this case Gaussian splatting models. However, the process would be the same for traditional 3D models or even panoramas. With this, you'll achieve the effect of comparing two models that might have been created from the same object or area but at different points in time. This tool allows you to compare effectively and attractively, making it easy to see the differences between past and present. Let's see how it's done. To start, we'll head over to VT Pro and import our two Gaussian 3D models. The issue is that these models, usually generated through photogrammetry, often don't match in size or alignment. Therefore, a prior step of adjusting and aligning the two models we want to compare is necessary. For this, you can use external software that supports working with Gaussian splatting models, like Play Canvas, which is free and includes an editor called Supersplat. Using this tool, go to the Scene menu, click Import and load both models. As you can see, they appear together in the scene, but often, depending on the models and the view, only one model might be visible, because one may be covering the other. By using the eye icon, you can hide one model and switch between them. The goal is to align model 2 to the coordinates of model 1 using the transformation panel adjustments. It's best to reset the view and center the camera first. Choose a top-down view, zoom into the center, and start aligning one model with the other. For example, select a reference point on the first model and align the second model to that point. You can rotate it using the values that most affect the view and use the guide grid to help. Adjust the position and rotation values until the reference points align. In this case, we were lucky because the scale was already correct, and we only needed to tweak one rotation value. However, in other cases, more adjustments might be required. From a side view, check if the heights are aligned. If not, adjust accordingly, making fine adjustments, such as using a reference point like a chimney peak until the alignment is accurate. As you can see, the models are now perfectly aligned. Of course, since they're different models, there will still be some discrepancies. Now that the second model is aligned, we can go to the first model, delete it, go to Scene, click Save As, and give it a new name. Once it saves, you'll have both models perfectly aligned. All right, now let's move on to VT Pro. We'll add media, select the Gaussian splatting model type and choose a flyover mode, for example. Then we'll pick model one and model two, the one we edited. Let's open it up and set this one as the initial model since it's the latest and most recent. We'll view it and select a more convenient angle, like this one, for instance, and set it as the initial view. If you'd like, we can use this initial view as a thumbnail for easy reference. Let's open this model and adjust its camera settings a bit as well. There's no need to match the camera view of the other model exactly. In fact, we'll use a different view to demonstrate. For the second model, let's set this angle as its initial view and create the thumbnail for it. Next, go to the skin panel. By default, the program has a single viewer, the main viewer, where media loads in full screen mode. To achieve the split screen effect, you'll need to add a new viewer of this type. Go to miscellaneous. The quickest way is to type split into the search bar. 
so the library quickly shows the viewer you need. Alternatively, you can opt for the twin mode, where the same scene is displayed on both sides with two different models. In the center of each viewer, the same point will be visible, but you can't drag the divider between them. For this tutorial, we'll use the split mode. Simply select it and click anywhere on the screen to add it. In this way, we now have our main viewer as the background and on a higher layer, this new dual viewer. It's important to note that this doesn't mean the two models will automatically load into the dual viewer. You'll need to define this with actions. By default, these viewers are set to display panoramas. Clicking the left side, for example, shows the action open panorama. Since we're not using panoramas, we'll remove these actions. The one included in the left viewer and also the one in the right viewer. Now, we need to make an initial decision. If we want our tour to start with a split screen and model one here and model two there, automatically, without the user needing to click anything, we need to recreate the previous action, but with the models. We go to Open 3D Model and set the left viewer to display the initial model. Select it and make sure, this is very important, that it is assigned to the left viewer and not the main viewer, which may be the default for this action. Additionally, we must ensure it is set to run automatically when the tour starts and displays this viewer executing these actions. For this, it's crucial to set on show as the trigger. Repeat this process for the right viewer. Add the Open 3D model action. Select the desired model, configure on show and assign it to the right viewer. This setup allows the tour to start in split view mode, enabling the comparison of both models. Now, this method works well if we only have two models to compare. However, if we want to compare a third or fourth model, we must consider using buttons to trigger the action of loading models into the viewers as needed. Let's explore this. Here we have another example where the models are displayed in the main viewer, like a timeline and only by clicking on this button would we access split view mode. Additionally, this button panel has been configured so that when switching between models, the same camera view is maintained, which can be especially useful for analyzing specific parts of each model in detail for the selected dates. We can even do this in split view mode, where, as you can see, we can also independently change which models are displayed in each viewer. Even when switching, the camera will maintain that view in our viewers, which can be very useful for tasks that require detailed comparisons or maintaining a consistent perspective across different models. And of course, at any time, we can exit split view mode and return to the main viewer with a single model. Let's see how to make this happen. To do this, I've already loaded my three models, properly aligned as we did initially. Now in the skin panel, I've created a simple interface with a set of initial buttons that allow loading specific models into the main viewer when clicked. These three buttons are in toggle mode and belong to a group named Date, so activating one button automatically deactivates the others. And so that when starting the tour with this model initially loaded, this button appears as selected, I have initially included this auto trigger at start action. This will make the button appear as pressed initially, which will show its pressed mode. And to achieve the effect of having the models open while maintaining the same camera viewpoint, we select this new option, same spot as current model, instead of the default option, which is initial view. This option must be set this way for each of the buttons that open these models. Additionally, I've added a button to switch to split view. This button reveals the component we created earlier. By default, I keep this hidden. Additionally, I have created a copy of the button panel for use in the right viewer and another copy for the left viewer. 
This split view button includes actions to show the split view component with show, reveal the left and right button sets and activate a second compare button for exiting the mode. The open 3D model action is also set here, one for model 2022 in the left viewer and another for the right viewer with the second model. Clicking this button will automatically load the models in their respective viewers. And finally, the action to hide the split view button, as we will display the exit button. Additionally, we also want to hide this button panel, as the panels corresponding to the left and right viewers will be displayed. Next, we have the exit button, which is initially hidden. This button would have options to hide and show opposite elements. For instance, it would display the general button panel and the initial compare button again, while hiding the left and right button panels as well as the exit button. Additionally, it would also hide the split view viewer, as in this case we want it to be hidden to reveal the main viewer. And additionally, we would also add the action to display this model again in the main viewer. Finally, I will show you the actions of the left and right button panels. Basically, when pressing, for example, the 2024 button, it will open the corresponding model in the right viewer. The same happens with the 2023 button, which also displays its model in the right viewer. Keep in mind that for this button panel, I have created a new toggle group. Just like for this one, I would need a different one. The other buttons work in a similar way, but in this case, they open the models in the left viewer. Initially, these button panels should be set to hidden. And that's it. As you can see with this simple interface, we can create a project that allows us to easily switch between the models we want to display in each of the dual viewers. We hope the tutorial has been helpful. See you in the next one.